Commencement Exercises, Academy of the Sacred Heart, New Orleans, May 29th, 2021. Honor and glory to God alone. Graduates, please be seated. So I extend a warm welcome to our parents, our families, faculty and staff, Religious of the Sacred Heart, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Larry de Marsay, and of course, especially to you, our class of 2020. Welcome home. <clears throat> this evening at sunset, we gather around this fountain under the light of this cupola to formally celebrate your graduation from the rosary and as a child of the Sacred Heart. We have waited a long time for this evening and it has finally come in its own time and in its own way. Good things, things that count in life, usually do take time and they happen in ways that cannot be imagined or predicted, and they are worth waiting for. So tonight, we come together to recognize a special moment for you, the class of 2020, to recognize a time that will be forever a part of our story and of your lives not just as individuals, but as a class. And now, for you as alumna of the Sacred Heart. Your passage to this time has brought with it an education in character, in resilience, in mental stamina, and also, too, in faith. Unlike many people, of your age. You have been summoned by circumstances, and these times has been form have been forming in you a mysterious purpose in life. All year long, we have been waiting in anticipation with you for this evening and for this celebration. We have been thinking about you and praying for you too knowing that you have, ha you have been having to, be, to put into practice what you have heard here so many times as a student about courage and about confidence in a deep and personal way. We know that you have had to develop new abilities, cultivate strengths that you did not know that you had and that you've had to meet entirely new challenges during this past year. So to each of you, I say congratulations on living the goals and criteria of this school with such agility, such tenacity, and actually such patience. Very few people have had to put their education to the test as you have had to do in such a personal and immediate way. So on this special evening, I would like to close with a quote from The Life of the Sacred Heart. It's a little small booklet that was given to you and your parents at some point during your years of education here at this school. And toward the end of that little book, it says, your Sacred Heart education is a way of life which calls you to change. Your Sacred Heart education is a way of life which calls you to change and to, like Jesus, 
grow in wisdom, in age, and in grace. So looking at you here this evening, I believe that you are bringing this message of your education at this school to life. As you receive these diplomas this evening, and as you walk through these gates once again, I pray that you carry into the world a deep sense of your being loved by God as this actually is sufficient and enough. I pray that you walk through these gates as strong and as faith-filled women, knowing that you never walk alone and that you're bound to one another as sisters and that you're bound to sisters of the Sacred Heart and to a family that is truly your own. To our parents here tonight, I thank you, each of you, for staying on this journey with us, for entrusting your daughters to us in their education, and for making an incredible investment in your daughter's spiritual growth, in her formation of character, and also to in her education. And now Mrs. Boyd will come forward to present her remarks to the graduates of the class of 2020. Good evening. Tonight's been a long time in coming, more than a year in fact. We're far removed from the Roaring Twenties prom on March 13th and from your baccalaureate mass in July. The passage of time, however, does not diminish the significance of this evening for either you or your families. We're gathered in this courtyard with your families and, the members and your friends in addition to all those who are joining us virtually from afar to celebrate your accomplishments and encourage you to keep setting the standard for greatness. What can I say? You've always been a unique class and you've become even more remarkable over the, over the course of the past 18 months. You were the first nursery class to start school on the Mater campus only to be disrupted by a major hurricane, a levee breach, and a prolonged evacuation. You return to your classrooms only days before Thanksgiving break in November, and this was only the first time that you would set a precedent. The world has not experienced a pandemic since the Spanish flu of 1918. You are the first Sacred Heart class in over 100 years to experience a pandemic. COVID-19 presented us all with new challenges. Never before has this school closed in-person learning altogether and transitioned solely to virtual instruction and distance learning. While the last quarter of your senior year was punctuated by change, that change did not rival the deviations that came with your freshman year in college. I have a freshman daughter too, masks, mandatory social distancing, quarantining, probably more than once, and more virtual instruction. They were all challenges this year. But despite all of these challenges, you have persevered. You've endured every new challenge that you've been faced with. And our world needs people who are keep willing to go forward despite tribulations. We need people who will seek unidentified solutions to global problems. We need people willing and able to cross new frontiers, just as Philippine Duchenne did more than 200 years ago. Each of you, each of you, has the potential to broker a long-needed peace agreement, to find a cure for a terminal illness, to find a way to reverse global warming, or to help the people of the world achieve political, social, or economic equality universally. With your roots firmly established in the tenets of Sacred Heart education 
and your propensity to endure. You are uniquely well prepared to go forth and change the world and make it a better place for all of us. And I can't wait to see what the class of 2020 will do in the future. During our virtual prize day and upper school awards ceremonies last spring, the following awards were conferred. Please stand as your name is called. I ask that you hold your applause until all awards are announced. Highest academic achievement, Claire Hickam. Academic excellence, Monet Menard. The Mater Medal is given to the senior who best portrays the virtues of Mater, Elizabeth King. Excellence in Religious Studies, Ella Ott. Excellence in English, Claire Larson. Alumni Essay Award, Caroline Durant. Excellence in Social Studies, Monet Menard. Excellence in French Five, the Mother Stone Yad Award, Eleanor Sundell. Excellence in Spanish Five, the Sociedad Espanol Jose Luis Baños Award, Molly Moore. Excellence in Art, Digital Design, Maddie Ben. Creative Arts, Monet Menard. Fine Arts, Ella Ott. Performing Arts, Camille de Lestrenier. Excellence in Mathematics, Claire Hickam. Excellence in Science, Claire Hickam. The Jill Kiefer Award, Claire Hickam. The Alton Oshner Future Physician Award for Excellence in Mathematics and Science and for possessing all of the qualities of an outstanding physician, Ava Dryling. The Ray Grenier Award for Outstanding Athletic Contribution, Character, Leadership, Love of Sports, and Support for her teammates, Ava Dryling. The Paul Charbonnet Senior Award for Zeal and Devotion in Co-Curricular Activities, Shannon Plough. The Fathers Club Award for Outstanding Cooperation, given in memory of Mr. Al Davidson, Monet Menard. Outstanding Courtesy and Respect, Tyla Keyes. Outstanding Service to the School, Sophia Chalet. The Sister Rita Karam Award for Outstanding Service to the Wyatter Community, Claire Larson. Please join me in honoring these young women. And now, the presentation of, diplom of diplomas. Please hold your applause until the last graduate is presented. Catherine Elizabeth Babin, graduating with highest honors. Grace Catherine Barber, graduating with high honors. Madison Noel Ben, graduating with honors. Andrea Bajorquez, graduating with honors. Sarah Ann Britch. Summer Clayley Busha. Caroline Whittington Casey, graduating with highest honors. Olivia Sermonero.
Mary Catherine Grace Connick, graduating with highest honors. Camille Dorothy Delestrenier. Ava Elizabeth Dryling, graduating with highest honors. Caroline Boyfield Durant, graduating with honors. Mary Grace Voorhees Ellis, Juliet Marie Enright. Sophia Catherine Fazio. Olivia Marie Gaines. Catherine Mackenzie Gailey, graduating with high honors. Lila Camille Garvey. Kathleen Pierce Gibbons, graduating with highest honors. Claire Jacqueline Hickam, graduating with highest honors. Allison Marie Loker Hughes. Isabel Elise Juge, graduating with honors. Tyla Kennedy Keys, graduating with highest honors. El 
Elizabeth Grace King, graduating with high honors. Jordan Caroline Kleehammer, graduating with high honors. Claire Kathleen Larson, graduating with honors. Megan Ann McCarthy, graduating with high honors. Monet Elizabeth Menard, graduating with highest honors. Julia Anna Montesino, graduating with highest honors. Molly O'Neill Moore, graduating with highest honors. Ella Elizabeth Ott, graduating with highest honors. Sh Shannon Elizabeth Quinn Plow, graduating with highest honors. Sophia Charlotte Madonna Chalet, graduating with honors. Sarah Raquel Spinoza. Eleanor McShane Sundell, graduating with high honors. Grace Marie Wagaspak, graduating with high honors. Wesley Renee Warren, graduating with high honors. Camry Diamond Washington. Sister Gus, it is with great pleasure and honor that I present the class of 2020.
So Mr. Larry DeMarce, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, will now present the following awards. The salutatorian of the graduating class is the student who has the highest cumulative grade point average for four years at the Academy of the Sacred Heart, the Rosary. The award is given in honor of Albert H. Stahl and is presented to Monet Menard. valedictorian of the graduating class is the student with the highest grade point average for four years at the Academy of the Sacred Heart, the Rosary. And this year, the award is given to Claire Hickam. Now, Claire will give her speech. Good evening, Sister Gust, Ms. Boyd, Ms. Dufresne, and Ms. LeBlanc. I would like to take a moment to thank you all for the effort that has gone into making tonight possible. We all know that it could not have been easy. Thank you also to the class of 2020 for making the past 15 years so memorable and meaningful to me. Many of us first came to Sacred Heart in nursery. We sang to Dennis every day, ran around with our smocks tucked in our bloomers, and learned how to play. In preschool, we dressed up as pilgrims and Native Americans for Thanksgiving and ate our lunch on the cafeteria floor. We had a teddy bear sleepover, learned how to cook green eggs and ham, and made a giant paper mache orca whale. Before we knew it, the super kids were teaching us to read and write, and our smocks turned to jumpers overnight. We made water bottle lava lamps at Mad Scientist Day and decorated our lockers with wallpaper and plastic chandeliers. We had luau's, freeze dance parties, and many hula hoop competitions. We sculpted chalices out of clay and drew some crazy gumball machines. We acted out Bible stories in chapel and dressed up as our favorite saints in third grade. We played four square and tether ball and learned to make bread and sew pixie dolls. In middle school, we read To Kill a Mockingbird with Miss Lee and learned the quadratic equation song with Miss Graff. We saw the blue angels in Pensacola and traveled to Philadelphia with Sis. We had our first dances and met our first crushes. We ate mints with Mr. McCall and watched Barbie movies with Miss Ryan. Miss Dawn learned everybody's lunch number and we all ate way too many Gardettos and chocolate muffins. We started off high school with freshman welcome week. Jordan dressed up like a bald eagle for America Monday. We were pillow heads and e-girls and danced to lip gloss and dark horse. We were firemen and supermodels, then gamblers and rock stars. We danced to Walking on the Sun in the next episode and showed off our square dancing skills at rodeo prom. When senior year came around, we taught our little sisters our freshman year performances and it was all a little bittersweet. Now the time has come, and we really do need to roll on out. During all my time here at Sacred Heart, I truly believe that watching each and every one of you being your hilariously authentic selves every single day has shaped me more than just about anything else in my life. <laughs> and one thing that I'd like to say most is thank you for teaching me to be who I am. Our nursery year, our very first year here at Ash was disrupted by Hurricane Katrina. We were scattered around the nation and no one knew when things would be normal again. Tonight at our senior year back at our senior 
at our graduation mass, we find ourselves in the same predicament. Last year, COVID disrupted much normalcy and tradition in the past several months of our senior year. Um, we started our journey here with chaos and we left with a little chaos too. I think it symbolizes the beautiful chaos of our class. We are all unique in clashing and normalcy was never an option for any of us. In the end, I believe the chaotic and unconventional memories I have of you all, like setting off the fire alarm in PE class or coming to school with a Peppa Pig backpack, these memories have been far more unique and far more impactful than any ceremony or tradition could ever be. So even though tonight may not be exactly what we all had imagined, let's make some more memories like these. Thank you. Claire, thank you. That was a beautiful speech. And now Mr. Larry DeMarce, Chair of the Board of, Tr Board of Trustees, will give a few closing remarks. Good evening, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, I'd like to congratulate our last year's graduates and hope that you had a wonderful first year in college. Um, and welcome all of the parents, so many of whom I had an opportunity to speak to last May. I'm glad to see you out there, and thank you very much for your patience. I'd like to also thank Sister Gust, Mrs. Boyd, Dean Dufresne, and Mrs. Higginbotham for putting this together. Um, it's been a long time coming, and thank you very, very much. And it's truly my privilege to be here today. Uh, when I was elected, um, chairman of the board, I guess a little bit um, two years ago, um, the most, what I was most excited about was having an opportunity to talk to you at graduation last May. Um, I was thrilled, it was the, I, I was just very enthusiastic about it because I know so many of the girls in this class, as I look out at Miss Gibbons, Miss Babin, um, and I know so many of your parents, um, I was very excited to be here, and it truly was heartbreaking that things didn't work out last year as we were hoping for. And I know from talking to many of you, um, that was a shared experience for all of us. Um, this class is extremely special to me because of the relationships I have with some of the girls in the class, many of the parents in the class that go back several gener generations, which is really what, about, what Sacred Heart is about. It's about a community, a family, traditions that go from generation to generation. As you sit here today, it was a year ago since you walked out of the gates um, and went about your business and went to college and did what you were doing, and now you're back a year later for another ceremony. In a few years, you're gonna be back here for friends' weddings, more times than you'll be able to count, um, and then eventually it'll be your kids' kids' weddings that you're gonna come to. So that's what's so special about this. Also, when I look, look out here, your class has been a barometer. My, my two girls, my oldest is three years younger than you, but your class has always been the barometer for us. Every time we wanted to know what Laney or Holly should have or could be doing at any given moment, we were always looking to figure out what your class was doing. So for years and years and years, I've heard what a wonderfully close class that this is. And I can see from y'all returning tonight that that is, is accurate. You know, also we had the Gaineses who live next door to my girls grew up watching Miss Gaines learn to ride her bike, wanted to be like her and her sister when they grew up. So when I sat down trying to figure out what am I gonna say to y'all tonight? You know, it wasn't gonna be a traditional speech. You didn't just walk out of school a few weeks ago. Um, you're coming back after a year of college. And it occurred how actually strange this situation is. And I started to try to kind of really think of, of what you've experienced and what we've all experienced over the, the last year. And certainly Sister Gust and Mrs. Boyd covered that very well when they were talking about it. But it has been bizarre. 
it's almost been, you know, it made me think of a Dr. Seuss book where you've actually lived the Dr. Seuss story or an Alice in Wonderland or something like that. We could have never dreamed up what you've experienced over the last year and a half about. So as I, I thought about um, kind of the, your experience and how it's going to help you going forward, it's truly going to be a gift for you long term. And I know that as we're sitting here being swarmed by termites one year after you're supposed to graduate, that's going to seem um, very odd. But Sacred Heart gave you all the skills that you needed to be successful in life. You're all brilliant girls with excellent personal skills that are capable of doing anything that you want to do in life. But the last year and a half, I think, has given this class something that no other class has. And it could almost be considered a superpower. And it's going to be resilience. You have had more stuff thrown at you in the last year and a half as they told earlier, than any other class has gone before. Those skills that you've learned, although have done a good job of ruining Rush, ruining your first year of college, and spearing the last few months of your senior year, are going to give you everything that you need to be successful in life. And based upon knowing a few of you and knowing a whole lot more about a larger group of you, uh, I know that you're going to be extremely successful in everything that you do. And on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, we wish you good luck and wish you well. And thank you very much for everything you've done for us. So Dan, now, uh, Carol Lamp, Ms. Dufresne will offer a closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, this evening is the culmination of years of work, hours and hours of reading and writing, calculating and investigating, sharing and caring. Years filled with challenges and triumphs, losses and laughter, friendships, growth, and prayer. Now, these years are coming to a beautiful, joyful end. God, bless these graduates, every one, and fill them with the spirit of your love. We pray that as they go out and make the world a better place, that they continue to share their personal and active faith in you, their God. May they continue to respect intellectual values and share the fruit of their knowledge with others. May their commitment to social awareness and action make a positive difference in our world. May they build community wherever they go and remain forever the important part of our community that they are today. And may they, through their ongoing growth in wisdom and grace, bring others to you as they share their talents with the wider world. We ask you to protect and guide these children of the Sacred Heart as through their lives they discover and reveal your love in the world. We ask this in the name of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who binds us together with one another and with you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we process out, the graduates will stand, and they will process out, and the parents will join their daughter at the opposite side of the fence to walk straight on out as so that we can avoid the gathering of everybody in a huddle. So graduates, would you please stand and join in our alma mater, Kurdish Zoo.